Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm going to show you uh, some ideas with a new die set called the Dalla Horse. You know that I'm super into all kinds of folklore elements and also I have um, I've wanted some Dalla Horse, um, you know these glass ornaments for the Christmas tree for years but um, yeah, it's super expensive. You got to be a millionaire, I think, if you want to buy it the amount that I would want because I would want all the colors. <laughs> and so uh, when my friend Martina suggested that I have a dollar horse die, I jumped on it. So that's how the idea came. And um, now I'm creating ornaments with uh, with it but um i don't i don't know if i i think i created like nine obviously if you want to cover a whole tree and especially like a big tree then this will take you a long time to do what i've done i die cut all the pieces every single piece from probably nine cardstock colors or maybe even more and then i just um mixed and matched everything so these are going to be super colorful, nothing to do with Christmas colors, but that's how I like it on my Christmas tree as well. There's really all colors. And um, yeah, I I hope you like it. I love how it turned out and it's actually quite easy to put together. You see, uh, for the these uh, cut apart pieces, I always have a backing die so that you don't have to fussy cut anything. I know not everybody likes to do that, but I find it easier than to glue everything directly onto the previous layer, to be honest. And also this way you can add dimension and it, you just have a bit more um, leeway. And then uh, I use the this ornament topper from the rocking horse die set. Um, I actually sized them both uh, the, the, in a way that they fit both um, dies. I, of course, I <laughs> it was too late, but I could have added one for this one as well. Anyway, uh, you probably have one in your stash already. Um, you can probably just use that. So these are the all of the horses, and then uh, there's another piece in the die set that I uh, added because maybe you don't you, you don't like the folklore style. So this is more a geometric one and I die cut uh, this one from five different colors and then I'm trying to create, um, I'd say ombre look, but it's actually from several colors. So, um, but like from, lighter to dark was the the original idea but then uh, of course when you have five different colors and then then the middle layer is going to be the same color so <laughs> you cannot do that so in the end I'll just figure out some other way to to use these pieces but I'm only creating three versions so um, I did have some leftovers but basically you could create five um, looks or like five horses at the same time um, you could create them so from some um, th these don't even have to be Christmassy right um, you could create them from all kinds of colors you could make them completely colorful, every piece from a different color. If you like mass producing, then you just die cut them from as many colors as uh, you have pieces here. So yeah, it took me some time to figure out what I wanted here. But once I settled on my last design, and that's gonna be, I'm simply going to ditch one color and um, yeah, and, and then, uh, once I settled on this, I am filling back the the eye and I'm just using some copy paper to back the color card stock to hold the eye in it, which I'm using just the, the white card stock piece. 
And then I am adding the second valve uh, onto the backing layer. So it's actually sturdy. And in the end, I um, actually, I don't remember if I added foam tape to it. I would assume I did, but let's wait and see. So I started um, gluing down the pieces at the top with the head and then just uh, went from there. If you, um, you know, sometimes you just push pieces uh, back together a little bit too close and then you will have a little bit of um, access on the on that uh, backing layer then just fussy cut it um, it's not a big deal now for my sentiments I'm using the something Christmassy die set from last year and I create I will create the Christmas cheer sentiment because I thought it was a, a cheerful look to these uh, horses but obviously I personally prefer the folklore style because it's I don't know it just I, I just love folklore elements and um, yeah so instead of adding colors here I'm adding a gold um, I think it's called satin finish cardstock from tonic uh, studios and um, yeah white and gold that's going to be the color and so that it's a bit more special i'm adding some texture to my white background uh, with a um, 3d embossing folder from spabinders and by the way i wanted to apologize already in the beginning of the video that my um that the colors will be super bad um in some of these videos about well, some of the videos i shot earlier and then others later and the later ones are ever done with the new lights that i have which are actually much better lights but for some reason i just cannot figure them out probably because they are better <laughs> and, and i'm absolutely rubbish when it comes to gadgets and i did not have to time to play with um either the lights or the camera settings but something is not right and uh, it's still not right the colors are not right but I hope you you can at least see what I'm doing that um, and at some point I hope I can figure it out so slimline card I like uh, this setup when I um, repeat an element multiple times I did not want to just use one so yeah I have three and then it's done basically it's super simple I did not add any other details to it the only other thing that I'm going to do is um, add some red twine and I will uh, finish it with a bow and I'll add some I always add some glue to the back of the bow just so that it stays in place and that's it all these projects done I hope I could give you some ideas um I think the the folklore style would also look fabulous on Christmas cards I really hope um I could I could give you some inspiration. I hope you like these and I can't wait to see what color combinations you guys come up with. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.